Our U.S. broadcast partner NBC is reporting that Republicans will retain control of the House of Representatives. Let's bring in our panel of experts, Maria Echevesta, Mark Feifle and Alan Lichtman. Mark, so good news for the Republicans, obviously. Yeah, I, they, they may have a couple of losses with, with some of the more marginal districts. It seems like that uh, uh, in some cases, in some races, that the Republicans are outperforming Trump, for example, Mr. Rubio in Florida. And then in other cases, they're not. So if you were a good candidate, if you were a good Republican who, who did something, who was known for an issue, who had good name recognition, you have a good chance of survival. If not, you could be in the job market pretty okay. soon. Okay, pretty tough. You mentioned the word issue. Patty also touched on issues and the fact that so many issues were overlooked in the campaign. What sort of impact is that yeah, likely well, to have? I mean, when it comes to the economy, to climate change, we, we know very little about what the foreign policy issues are facing. I would say if there was plenty of policy papers available on the Clinton website, mm. it, it isn't that people were not thinking about issues and trying to get it out. The message, unfortunately, was not able to get traction for, I think, frankly, because Donald Trump kept sucking the oxygen and, with all due respect to the media, chasing those uh, stories and those insults and the he said, she said. It was really hard to get um, serious attention, but the, the issues media, are there. Sorry, do you think the media exacerbated the problem in these elections? Media always exacerbates the problem. Some. What sells more, <laughs> sex and scandal or policy? No, absolutely, it, and, and he certainly threw out the, the, the bang words, didn't he? Exactly, but <laughs> on, on, on both sides. And indeed, you know, the media is making record profits out of this election. You think they'd make more profits if they del delved into uh, the details of, uh, of each tax reform proposal on, on either side? Come on. This is the most personality, most scandal-driven election we have ever seen in American history, and the media is, of course, lapping it up. And lapping it up? I mean, what sort of impact will it have on the Trump name when he lost his businesses before, lost a uh, massive amount of wealth, he was able to pull himself out of the trenches by selling the Trump name. Yeah, I would never count him out. Mm. And there's always second lives in politics is the thing. So uh, no, no matter what happens, so if Trump somehow pulls us out and wins, of course he'll have uh, the name recognition in the White House and whatnot. If he doesn't, he'll probably find a new condominium or a new condo complex, set up a new uh, portfolio and ready to go. And, and he has some 40 plus percent of America behind him, it's a big audience to, to work with. What upset him a lot, well, there are lot, many issues upset him, but the establishment. He was very anti-establishment. Are we going to see changes there? I, I, it is astonishing to me that he characterized himself as anti-establishment. Yes, he never ran for office and never had any experience governing, but he is about as establishment as you can can get businessmen using the bankruptcy laws, uh, junk bonds, I mean, establishment. He's made his fortune by utilizing all of the loopholes available that he, in fact, as part of uh, the various lobbying that takes place in Washington, um, has totally taken advantage of. So, unfortunately, he gave voice to anxiety and economic anxiety, but also I want to stress a racial resentment that was just underneath the surface in our country, which has always been dealing with these issues. And it just goes to, as I hate cells, anger cells, and there was a ready audience. And the patching up that we're going to have to do after this election is humongous.